Welcome to the 2016 Zanger Folkman Coaching Games. Today we're going to see four managers take on a tough coaching problem as they compete head-to-head -head and go for the gold. So let's introduce our four competitors. Give it up for Stan from Accounting. He runs the Accounts Receivable Team and enjoys Lumberjack Reality TV. I believe coaching a team is like making firewood. Chop them down and stack them back up. Mm -hmm. Next is Amy, head of her legal department and Yelp super reviewer. Whether critiquing restaurants or coaching, I can always spot flaws and make them public. Our third competitor comes all the way from HR and describes himself as an avid endorist. Meet Carlos. Confrontation is like an angry beehive. Best to avoid it at all costs. And last but not least, let's have a big hand for Michelle, a self-proclaimed coaching expert. I don't have any real experience, but I read every new coaching book that comes out. Every month, sometimes more. So let's get going with our second event, balancing across the leadership continuum. The best coaches know how to keep their balance and remain collaborative with those they coach. So here's the situation at hand. One of your team members received negative feedback from a customer. So what do you do? Let's see if our four managers can figure it out. Oh my, that's going to hurt in the morning. Michelle had no idea how to balance her style. Coaching missteps like this do happen, folks, and there's always a price to be paid. Here comes Stan. He makes it to the beam. Oh, but that first step was a doozy. Stan went completely non-directive in his approach, and taking your hands off the coaching wheel like that often ends badly. Carlos has stuck the landing, but can he stay collaborative all the way to the end? Oh no, he didn't make it! A fairly good showing from Carlos at first, but it's easy for coaches to trip up and get overly directive. A beautiful landing! I'll tell you right now, that was perfection! An unbelievable performance! Amy stayed collaborative the entire time, and that's what gold medal coaching is all about. I'll admit my blood was nearly boiling when I heard a team member received a negative customer review. But instead of being overly directive, I focused on staying collaborative, and my team member and I came up with some great ideas for handling this better in the future. Letting go of the me and embracing the we made all the difference. Gold medal coaches know that a collaborative leadership style creates winning relationships and results. When both parties feel like they have control and influence over the situation, that's a recipe for success. And so here's the medal roundup for our second event. Amy takes the gold, Carlos the silver, and Stan the bronze. Stay tuned next week as our competitors take on the ladder of inference. From all of us at Zanger Folkman, good night everybody.